guys, I have just been baking my hiney off, like baking and baking and baking and baking all night to make you a bunch of brownies. Would you like some brownies? Oh, I would love to give you some brownies. Do you want some brownies? Okay, if you want some brownies, you have to say, please, Mrs. Ramoser, can I have some brownies? Okay, here you go. Oh, get it? Brownies? <laughs> Gets me every time. I didn't make you any brownies. I just took a brown marker and drew a bunch of E's. Get it? Brown E's? <laughs> you should play that prank on somebody in your house this week. They are going to be really annoyed and mad. But it'll be funny. Okay, let's get some phonics done. How does that sound? Okay, well, thanks for being here. Let's do some phonics. Can you read this word over here that I've written down? Fast. Let's read that word together. Fast. How many sounds do you hear in that word? You try on your own first. Okay, now I'm gonna try to help you. Ready? Fast. 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 Four sounds. That's right. There's four sounds in the word fast. Each letter, this doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes each letter represents one sound. Here I have something called sound boxes. Can you say sound boxes? Sound boxes. So what I did is, how many boxes are there? One, two, three, four. So I made a sound box for each sound I hear in the word. Fast. So let's use the sound boxes to see if we can spell this word on our own. What was the first sound in fast? What letter is responsible to, for that sound? F. Nice job. F. So F would go in that first sound box. Let's see what sound comes next. Ah. Ah. What letter says that sound? A. Nice job. Fa, fa, What letter says that sound? S. And the last sound box. What sound is in the last sound box? Fast. T. T. Everybody knows that sound. Fast. So you can use what you know about letters to write or read words. You know the sounds that all these letters make, and you can use what you know about letters to help you read words and spell words. Fast. Fast. Let's do another word. How about this word? Felt. I felt the material of my sweater felt to feel something felt how many sounds do you hear in the word felt you try it on your own first eh uh, oh t. four sounds which is perfect for our four sound boxes eh uh, oh this sound box would say f. This sound box says eh. This sound box says o. Oh. This sound box says t. Felt. Let's try to spell the word together. What sound says, what's, what letter is responsible for the sound f? F. F, eh, eh, eh. What letter is that? E. Fell, oh, oh. What letter is that? L, nice job. And that last sound, fell, t, t. Felt, felt, 
felt. Awesome job. Let's try another word. How about this word? Held. Held. How many sounds do you hear in the word held? Held. Held. Four sounds. Ouch. Uh -huh. My bad. Perfect for our four sound boxes, right? Held. Held. Let's start with the first sound. What letter makes that sound? H. Eh. 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 E. Hell. L. Held. D. D. Held. Uh, old, held. Let's do one more word together. Let's see if you can read the word on your own if I put it up on my handy dandy post-it. What's that word? Land. Nice job. Let's see if we can sound it out together. Oh, and. How many sounds do you hear? Oh, and. Land. Four sounds. Land. Four sounds. So we can use our sound boxes again. Because there's four sound boxes. Oh, and. Land. Oh, oh, what letter makes that sound? L, nice job. Oh, eh, eh. A, land, mm. What letter makes that sound? N, nice job. Land, and D. Land. Land, o -e -n -d. land. Awesome. So I want you guys to remember that when you see a new word, anytime you see a new word or you're trying to read it, the new word or spell the new word, you can use what you know about individual letters and sounds to help you read it or spell it. Okay. Thanks for joining with me today, guys. I'll see you next time.